Mando and Grogu are back. And we have to talk about all of the weird aliens and creatures that they brought with them. Star Wars Rebels fans, I know you know what I'm talking about. So let's dive into episode one and talk about why these weirdos are an important addition to this Star Wars series. I gasped, and you might have too, when we saw the Purgles. Purgles are a whale squid-like creature that have the ability to fly through hyperspace. They played a big role in Star Wars Rebels, and we can thank Dave Filoni for coming up with the idea of space whales. Because of how Rebels ended, we could see Purgles again in the Ahsoka series, or at least they might be mentioned. I really like that they only showed the shadows of the creatures. I thought it was much more moving, more powerful, because honestly, I don't know how I would have felt if I would seen a giant puppet Purgle or a CGI rendered Purgle. It just might have been a little bit too silly for my taste, and that's saying a lot. On the planet Navarro, we see lots of different aliens and creatures living a much more happy and peaceful existence under Grief Karga's jurisdiction. A chef droid is chopping it up for the locals in the marketplace. We saw another chef droid in the Book of Boba Fett in Jabba's palace. It's also genius to have a protocol droid as a tour guide and droids as cape holders. You can no longer eat Kowakian monkey lizards because they are now free to live and laugh it up in the trees on Navarro. I thought the visual effects team did an outstanding job making these Kowakian monkey lizards look like my salacious bee crumb from Return of the Jedi. I'd love to know whether any of these were actually puppets, which ones were CGI, but the fact that I can't tell means they've done a good job. How fun was it to see Twi'lux and Anazimel in a folk band? If you're a fan of Solo, you might remember the species from Han and Lando's first Sabacc game. I really like that the Mandoverse continues to have certain species as villains, like the Nyctos, the Clatoonians, Weakways, Quarrens, and of course, Trandoshans. Because if your family worked for Jabba the Hutt, chances are you're gonna become a pirate. Babu Frick stole my heart in the Rise of Skywalker, so I love this scene with the Enzelans. Enzelans are feisty, hardworking, stubborn. They remind me of one of my uncles. They're also really, really cute, which is why Rogu was all of us when he went to try and hug one. Now I'm trying to figure out how to best describe Captain Gorian Shard. A chia pet, Pizza the Hut covered in space seaweed, if Swamp Thing and Davy Jones had a baby. I don't know, but I love it because it's just so weird. And that is my biggest takeaway from the first chapter in season three of The Mandalorian. The weirdness gives us comedic moments, thrills, and it is consistent with the galaxy far, far away that we first saw in A New Hope. It's why I love Star Wars, maybe why you love Star Wars as well, but I wanna know what were your favorite moments? What were your favorite aliens and creatures? We will be breaking down all of the creatures, aliens, Mandalorian lore week after week, so be sure to subscribe for more.